Hello, this is another photo essay from Sandspit near Auckland in New Zealand. The banded rail is a shy and reclusive bird and is rarely sighted, but here at the Sandspit Reserve we have a breeding population of 12 birds in 2010. They're now frequently sighted in the salt marsh and the lagoons after high tide. They forage for crabs and worms across the cockle beds as the tide rises. This photo essay will show visitors what to look for and where to look. We were surprised to confirm reports of sightings around the mangrove marsh earlier in 2009 with this photo taken in a garden. The banded rail's normal habitat is wetland and salt marsh. We speculated that the Community Predator Control Program had enabled the birds to breed and increase the population. In 2003, our regional biosecurity program installed 300 base stations throughout Sandspit. Community volunteers have maintained the network through all our bush reserves and private properties. We aim to control rats, possums, stoats, ferrets and weasels, and we've been highly successful. There are a dramatic increase in our forest bird numbers give daily testimony to our success. Now we see this success extended to the reclusive banded rail. This rare photo of a pair with four recently hatched chicks proves the birds are breeding successfully. Note the kingfisher perched in the small mangrove bush. Remarkable growth for the chicks just two weeks later. There must be plenty of food around. We're amazed by the tolerance of these birds for the human approach. This photograph shows the importance of restoring the salt marsh and reed beds to provide more nest sites. This is the Sandspit Reserve showing the salt marsh at high tide with the lagoon and Dean's Island in the midground. Overzealous grass mowing on the reserve leads to a restriction of oyoi or juncus reed beds available for nesting and the rails will not nest in wetlands overgrown with introduced pest plants. This photo was taken in October 2011, so we can look forward to more chicks this summer. Cox fighting over territory seems to be a sign of a healthy population. This bird is feeding on small crabs among the mangrove roots at the mouth of the Brick Bay stream. We may have rats and stoats under control, but people are harder to manage. This is Dean's Island at high tide, right at the centre of the bird's range. High tide is when the birds are most exposed. But my dog doesn't change birds. All dog owners protest. Yeah, right, says the bird. How did this bird's wing get broken? We now call it drag wing. It may survive without flying, but it will be easier prey next time the dog's off the leash. Perhaps this was the, the culprit. What is that dog doing in the nature reserve? Clearly we still have a public education problem in our community. This careless behaviour emphasises the importance of our community conservation efforts. We know that domestic dogs and cats are major predators of our terrestrial birds. So we can observe and photograph these rare sites for many years to come. Of course, if these rich cockle beds are destroyed by excavation for a marina, no amount of predator control can replace the lost habitat. Sandspit Reserve is a very small area, almost insignificant to the casual visitor, but a rich habitat for birds that are normally shy and rarely seen. Saucy supports the Sandspit Restoration Plan and actively monitors the health of our estuary and reserves with cockle counts and stream health assessments. We welcome support for our efforts and if you wish to make a donation you can go to www.sandspit.org.